Okay, so let's do a bit of um, multiplying decimals for this um, bit of revision. Okay, so start off with some of the very, very basics of decimals revision. If you're given just a simple one like this, 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. A lot of people get this wrong and put this as 0 0.8, which is actually incorrect. Okay, the correct answer is actually 0 0.08. Okay, um, well, think of it this way. 2 times 4 is going to be 8, isn't it? Uh, so, let's make one of them 10 times smaller. 0 0.2 times 4 would be 0 0.8. Make this 10 times smaller as well. 0 0.2 times 0 0.4, that becomes 0 0.08. If they both become 10 times smaller, then this becomes 100 times smaller, okay? Right, now the rule is, the general rule is, however many decimal places there are in the question will be the amount in this kind of initial answer. Okay, the reason why I say initial answer is because sometimes you might have zeros at the end, you can't just wipe them off. Okay, there we go. Okay, right, let's another, do another quick example of that because um, Sometimes it might come out as a bit of a funny answer. Let's go for 0 0.5 times by 0 0.04. Okay, remember that rule that I just said? A number of decimal places in the question will be the number of uh, decimal places in the answer. Okay, one, two, three decimal places. Why is that not a decimal place? It's not after the decimal point. Why is that not a decimal place? Same reason, okay? It's everything that's after all the numbers, all the digits after the decimal point is a decimal place, all right? So, well, what's five times four? Five times four is 20. And remember, our answer has got one, two, three decimal places in the question, one, two, three in the answer, okay? Now, five times four, five times four is 20. Let's stick that 20 in at the end. Zero, two, fill in a blank with zero, fill in that blank with zero as well. Okay, so this becomes, so the answer is 0 0.020. Do we need that zero at the end? Not really. 0 0.02 can be our final answer. Now that in a GCSE would still be accepted, um, but this one is the neater version really. Okay, uh, let's do another quick one. Uh, 0 0.3 times by... 1.2 okay another classic mistake that people make here is they forget that one is there don't think of this as as something being similar to 3 times 2 don't think of it like that this is similar to 3 times 12 all right again one two decimal places in the question one two decimal places in the answer all right so what else have we got to do? Think about, if we ignore the zeros and the decimal points, what are we left with? We'd be left with 3 times 12, wouldn't we? Okay, what's 3 times 12? It's 36. Let's fill this in from this end. Always fill in from that end. 6 goes there. 3 goes there. Got a blank. What goes in where a blank is? 0. And that's our final answer. Okay, now this is with simple numbers. Okay, really, really low numbers. Ones that to do with times tables that you can do in your head, okay? You can do things like, um, you know, 8 times 8 in your head. You can do 4 times 7 in your head. You can do 12 times 12 in your head even, okay? However, you might not be able to do something like this in your head. So you might be given something like 2.3 times by 4.1, point, uh, 4 let's go for. A couple of different ways you could do this. I'm going to do this in two different ways. One way, I'm going to call it the the so-called Chinese method. I don't know if it is actually Chinese or not, but that seems to be the, the prominent way of calling it. There, and I'm also going to call it the... Um, I'm going to also do it in another way, which is the um, column method. Okay? Right, let's do it the Chinese way. This is a bit of an odd way. First of all, you get the digits. You put two... Three at the top, put the decimal point in between them. And then they're going to be the top of a box. And then on this side, you're going to put 4.1. Notice how I've put 
the decimal point over a line, decimal point next to a line, okay? This is a really important bit that we need to do now, okay? So you must line these up in the right way. You've got to go from corner to corner and extend it. Corner to corner to corner and extend it. Corner to corner and extend it, okay? Now what's going to go in these boxes? This is where you've got to do your multiplication. Two times four is eight, so we put 08. Three times four is 12, so we put one, two. Two times one is 02. Three times one, 03. And then we add things up down the diagonals, okay? Right, three at nothing is three. Two at zero at two is four. One at eight at zero is nine. Zero, well, we can put a zero there. We don't necessarily need to. Now, this is where the decimals come in, okay? Now this guy here, this decimal here, let's call him Des, okay? Des, he likes to walk down this way. He likes to walk south. This lady here is Mel. Decimel, decimal. Terrible pun, I know. Um, and she likes to walk that way, okay? Where they meet is here. Now they don't like, they don't necessarily want to go exactly the same way because they like walking in those different directions. So they make a bit of a compromise and they go in this direction in order to go to where they want to have their little date. Okay. So the answer here is 9.43. 9.43. Okay. That's the so-called Chinese way of doing it. I don't know if that is actually Chinese or not. Um, and this is the column way of doing it. This way, we just ignore the decimal points completely and just do 23 times 41 using the column method. Three times one is three, two times one is two. We're done with that. Three times four, ah, now, there's one thing that I forgot. Stick a zero in there because we're working with things that are 10 times bigger. Three times four is 12, carry the one. Two times four is eight, add the one is nine. Then we add these up, three, four, Nine. Okay, now remember one, two decimal places in the question, one, two in the answer. Three goes there, four goes there, flows over the decimal point, 9.43. Two different ways you could do it, up to you which one you choose. Okay, I'm going to set some questions and then uh, give the answers afterwards. There you go, seven questions to do. Um, pause the video now to give them a go and then uh, before I go through and do them myself. Okay, right, so let's go through. I might go through the, the first lot just on the board that they're on because they're relatively straightforward. Okay, so one, two decimal place in the question, two in the answer, two times uh, eight is 16, two at the end, be 0 0.16. Uh, one, two, three decimal places in the question. One, two, three in the answer. What's four times nine? 36. Six goes there. Three goes there. Blanks are going to be filled with zeros. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four decimal places in the question. One, two, three, four in the answer. Okay. Don't think about what one times five is. Think about what 11 times five is which is 55. Fill it in from the end, fill in the blanks for zeros. And this one here, uh, I'm really running out of room. Two decimal places in the question, there's no decimal places for the seven there. There's going to be just two in the answer. What's seven times three? It's 21, 0 0.21. Okay, harder ones. Let's get that to the side and let's get another board over here. Okay. Um, 3.1, I'm going to use the uh, column method for this one, I think. 3.1 times 4. Well, think about what 31 times 4 is. 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. Uh, 124, okay? One decimal place in the question. There's going to be one decimal place in the answer. 4 goes there, and then these flow over the decimal point, okay? Uh, next up... I'm going to use the Chinese method for this one. Uh, 8.1 times 2.7. We're going to do 8.1, 2.7. 
and I am going to do the grid like this, corner to corner, corner to corner to corner, corner to corner, there we go. Uh, 8 times 2, 16, uh, 1 times 2 is 2, 8 times 7 is 56, 1 times 7 is 7. Okay, so add down the diagonals, 7 on its own, 2 at 0 and 6 is 8, uh, 0 at 6 at 5 is 11, so we put a 1 there and carry the 1. 1 at 1 is 2. Uh, Des goes this way, Mel goes this way, they join up together, they go there. So it's 21.87. So that one, sorry, was 12.4. This one is 21.87. I do hope that is correct. I did rush that a little bit. I'll check them on the, on the calculator in a sec. Um, now... Next one, let's give, let's get another one. Nice big board on its own to do this. Okay, right, I'm gonna do it big. 19.2 and 1.6. There we go. Set it up like this. Now, this one is a three by two. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Right. 1 times 1 is 1. I nearly said 2 then. Don't judge me. Um, 9 times 1. 2 times 1. There we go. 1 times 6. 9 times 6. 54. 2 times 6. 12. Add down the diagonals. 2. 2 at 1 at 4 is 7. Uh, 0 at 9 at 5. So 14 at 16. That's 20. Carry the 2 over. 20. Um, 0 at 1 at 0 at 2 is 3, and then the zeros there. Des goes that way, Mel goes this way, they like to walk this way. So the answer in the end comes out as 30.72. 30.72. I hope that was really useful. Thank you very much.